CBC Arts says, we are not worthy of the talents of non-binary drag thing Rose Butch. Yes, that certainly was a lot of words. There was a, a lot of words. I'm not exactly sure if they ended up communicating anything. But let's see. Let's see if we truly are not worthy of the talents of non-binary drag thing Rose Butch. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably not going to be super great. Oh, God. You think drag queen and you have an image in your mind and you think drag king and you have an image in your mind, even though there's like so many different ways to express those things. Oh, geez. I'm not a drag king or a drag queen. I'm a drag thing. Once I took away those expectations of like, I need to perform this way, it sort of opened things up for me. <laughs> I guess we're just calling anything talent and performance now. Just whatever, whatever you want. Oh yeah, totally. This is, man. Once I got rid of the expectations, look at what Rose Butch has been able to create. It's true. It's unbelievable. It's astounding. Fantastic. Round of applause. <laughs> the talent involved. Oh, it's just, it's so much talent. It's oozing talent. My name is Rose Butch. I'm from the Coast Salish Territories. The first time I saw drag was in 2010, so I was 20. Drag King culture was my intro to drag rather than like, I'd never seen an episode of Drag Race. I hadn't even heard of it. I didn't know like what that was. No way. Never even heard of and so, Drag like, East Race? Fan, at the Cobalt, rough around the edges, like punk drag was like my intro to drag. And I remember like standing there with my best friend and being like, I could do that. I bet I could do that. Yes, Rose. You could do that because literally anyone can do that. <laughs> I don't understand this. Like there's so many videos like this online where they're we're going to explore this amazing drag performer. And you watch it and he's like, "Well, it, it's it's just it's just Halloween and you're just dressing up." I don't where, where where does the talent come in? I'm not exactly sure, but sure, sure, yeah, it's uh you're doing great. You're doing great, kid. You're doing great. This poster is from my first ever paid drag gig. Yeah, I've been doing it for five years. And that's me, Rose Butch. Yeah, I just like had to steal it from the wall of the cobalt. Like at the end of the night, I was like, I need this. What I, what does this person do for a living? I damn, this, this, see this Rose house or whatever as is nice. this ongoing collaborative art project who is like an extension of me, but also is me. <laughs> My what? makeup, I would probably best describe it as like Rococo clown angel baby. <laughs> like This is the epitome of things that just shouldn't be talked about. It, you're explaining something that doesn't require an, expl an, an explanation. I get it. You're just being a dumbass. I understand that. <laughs> you don't need to try to explain it as if it's something else. What? Why do we only care about things that are just anyone can do? Where's the next Jimi Hendrix? <laughs> What's it? Let me let me describe my process. I'm Rose Butch, drag thing. <laughs> I dress up like a clown and move slowly. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> Groundbreaking stuff. I really enjoy physical theater and mime, so that informs a lot of what I do. For me, drag is just like gender performance, and I'm performing non-binary gender. No way, that's what it is uh, to you. Whatever that is. I've never heard anybody else ever talk about a uh, drag as if it was playing with gender.
Some folks have a hard time separating themselves as a person and themselves as like a drag performer. Why? Just for my personal sanity, like I wanted to have some separation between that. Uh, this is the Ray side of my closet, which is like a little bit messy right now. I but really have to Ray know what this person does for a living. Is aesthetically not as adventurous as Rose. These are all my like my sweaters and my short sleeve button ups and my long sleeve button ups. I just. These people, it... <laughs> I guess it's cheaper than a therapist. I, I guess that's all it is, right? Because if you need to do it, fine, do it. I don't really care. But why? Again, the glorification of it. Why are these people being held up as like, wow, look how great they are. Or as CBC Art says, we are not worthy of the talents of non-binary drag thing Rose Butch. What does that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's so stupid. <laughs> but sure, yeah. The talents, the talent, the talent, it's just crazy. <laughs> Folded shirts that are like a variety of like black and white. Yeah, so we're very, everything is folded. And then the like rose wardrobe is like, <laughs> all of this. <laughs> Colors, prints, Seek patterns, help. accessories, shoes. This one's so good. Two different closets, cause like... What do you do for a living? That's, I, the, only <laughs> a ridiculously privileged, rich society in decay <laughs> could, could actually uh, do this. Who has the time and money to fill up multiple closets for these ridiculous characters and then you just walk around slowly <laughs> to music? <laughs> the art, the talent, it's unmatched. We're not worthy of the talents of Butch Rose. Rose needs a lot of space. <laughs> I think Rose is a lot more confident uh, than Ray is. I, I, yeah, I'm like, Ray is learning from Rose in terms of confidence. Oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. This is actually exactly like uh, what I'm always talking about. The infantilization, you know, adults not ever becoming adults. That's what this is. This is what my best friend's daughter talks about when I talk to her about her playing dress up. I don't know why it took me so long to put that together. This is what it's like when you don't grow up. It's just, it's bizarre to see an adult doing it. <laughs> But actually, it's exactly what you'd expect a kid to do. When they pick or like they, they pick up a toy and it's like, you know, it's a dinosaur or something, but then they explain to you the absolute intricacies of what this dinosaur does. <laughs> and you're like, wow, yeah, that's that's great. But now adults do it and we have to pretend somehow like it's well, it's something that we aren't worthy of. I mean, the talent is just unreal. Non-binary drag thing, Rose Butch, ladies and gentlemen. Has the talent of about a, an eight-year-old. <laughs> Fantastic. I went to theater school to become an actor. I think since I was like 13, I wanted to be an actor. Color me shocked. <laughs> Theater at the time at that school was super, super gendered and was always doing these like stereotypically feminine roles. You know, I've I've watched enough of this stuff to know that stereotypically gendered means that basically what they're saying is it was a hellscape beyond imagination. It was essentially like being in the trenches in World War One when mustard gas was just, you know, and you're just, people are melting and dying and exploding. And that's what it, the gendered thing. It's, it's, it's bad news. It's bad news. I was 21, starting to realize that I was non binary. Looking back at it, I'm like, oh, that was like giving me like quite a bit of dysphoria. <laughs> um, that was not great for me. I was doing well in my movement classes, my voice classes, but I was failing all my acting classes. 
<laughs> they basically recommended that I did the production program instead of doing the acting program because it would be a challenging career path for Failing me. all my acting classes. And so I went into the production uh, program thinking like, okay, I'm going to learn how to make the theater that I want to see. But do you see, do you see the story arc we're starting to get here? The story arc is that once, uh, Rose Butch accepted Rose Butch as the non-binary Rose Rose Butch, then suddenly amazing actor, amazing performer. All you had to do was accept yourself. Fantastic. Hey, Tom Sushi. I would much rather walk walk into Tom Hello, Sushi than the to 1181. Rose Butch. Uh, <laughs> My name is Rose Butch. Thank you for checking. All right, here we go. We're actually gonna we're gonna are, are we gonna see a performance? I, I'm ready to see the talent. I hope everyone's ready. We're about to see true talent that we as regular mortals do not deserve. All right, other that we're not worthy of, according to CBC Arts, not worthy. Space with me tonight. Uh, Growing up and like realizing that I Damn, was trans, why, didn't you, why didn't you show the show? I wanted to see the show. Uh, moving through the world as a trans person and a non-binary person, there's so many things around gender that were upsetting to me or really frustrating. Practice of like putting on the makeup and the outfit. I was like, this is a way in which I can control exactly how people see me. So to be able to play within gender and gender expression and to be able to turn that into something euphoric and fun oh. and like the opposite. It's, it's just, it's also tire, tiresome. <laughs> I mean, what? How many times can these people just do and say the same things over and over and over and over again? I mean, it gets to me reacting to these people. So imagine being that person. I mean, geez, how many times have we heard this? Finally being free to be myself, to play within the, uh, the, the uh, without the confines of gender and gender norms. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, what does that mean? Nothing. It, it, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> It means I'm a self-righteous prick is what it means. Opposite of that, like, pressing down feeling is like, that's one of the main things that I like to do with Rose Butch. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Rose Butch. The non-binary drag thing the talent of which we are not worthy of, according to CBC Arts. I hope you learned something about, uh, well, I don't know, about something. I, I, I'm not even really sure what that was all about. But it sure was talented. Extremely talented. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. I think maybe I just need to put on some stupid makeup and just walk around. <laughs> You're telling me that's all I have to do? Here I am doing all this video editing and recording music and, you know. Sure, I'm not saying I'm talented, but I'm certainly putting in effort. <laughs> I, I just need to put on makeup and wear a stupid hat. Man. I've been going about this whole, <laughs> this whole life thing all wrong. But thank you, Rose Butch. I've got it all figured out now. <laughs>